understand people like Judy Elledge. They remind me of my mother. And the truth is, I love my mother. But she shouldn't be part of a library administration. And neither should Judy Elledge. I will now present to the administration and the assembly. Madam Chair, I'd like to do a point of order, please. These are his three minutes, and we have provided members of the public to comment on how they believe that you're being a hypocrite. Ms. Allard, you are out of order. I will ask Mr. Bray to confine his remarks to the qualifications and, and what is germane. I have not heard a, an attack on an individual outside of comments concerning social media. Go ahead, Mr. Gray. Thank you. I will now present to the administration and the assembly a petition to remove Judy Elledge from her appointed position in the library. Yeah, sorry, three of those copies need to go to the administration. There's 12, there's 15 copies. Um, the petition is signed by 1,200. Can I have my order, please? What was Mr. Mr. Gray has called Judy Elledge a bully, 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 I didn't I call it bullying behavior now. I'm just taking personal attacks upon a member of the okay. community and an employee. Thank you, Ms. Allard. Mr. Gray. Yes, ma'am. And if you read the quotes, they're from other people and they're reported. Um, I, I would never do that. She reminds me of my mother. I love my mother, but she shouldn't be in library administration. Thank you. 1,200 library patrons have signed the petition, many of whom are here tonight. We want to maintain our and our children's freedom to decide for ourselves what to read. We want our library workers treated with respect. We want a library that is welcoming to all, especially our most marginalized groups. Please stand up for freedom, respect, and kindness. Remove Judy Elledge from library leadership. Also, the petition is still open and we welcome additional signers. Thank you for allowing me to testify. Thank you for your participation. Madam Chair, I'm making for a question. Go ahead, Ms. Eller, and I do want to point out we have 10 minutes left to initial audience participation. So please, Mr. Gray, do you believe that the books have been censured to the point where they're being removed from the library? So the reports I've heard was that they've been placed in her office for review and that there's a specific process for removing books for review, and the certain books that have been removed are usually um, of an LGBTQ nature. So I feel like it's my particular group that might be being targeted by having these materials removed. Thank you. They have not been removed, and they will not be removed. Point of order, point of order, Madam Chair, point of order. Thank you. Thank you. Point of order. Please stop. Yes, Mr. Constant. The representative, the member from Eagle River is testifying during audience participation. That's our order. Thank you, Thank you, Mr. Constant. I will remind members to please refrain from doing anything but asking brief, clarifying questions to members of the public during this time. Okay. Thank you for your participation. Welcome. Please come forward and state your name for the record, your community council, or the area of the meeting in which you live. You'll have three minutes. My name is River Ramulia. I live 